I really enjoyed the effects of this stuff. I felt like it really brings your testosterone back to normal or above very quick. I liked the strength on this. It almost seemed like I was maintaining a big size or even getting a little bit bigger, which is a little bit weird since this is like a natural testosterone support mix. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this product called Testes. Now, I do think this name is pretty funny. It's kind of hilarious. It does fit with the product that they're going for, but you know, if I had a wife like, hey babe, can you grab my Testes for me? Thanks. It's just hilarious that it has this name, but it does fit the product that they're going for. And I gotta say, when I first ordered some of these products, this was the product that I wanted to try the most. As with all the other products, they fill it pretty much to the brim. Now, I did have two bottles of this stuff, so I've kind of been zigzagging in between each one, but I've tried this product quite a bit and it looks like I haven't even touched it. So love the, um, hard tin on it too. Anyways, there's a lot of little things in this blend. So I'm going to go over them really quick. Then I'm going to be going over just how it made me feel. I'm just going to go off based on the research that I've done in the past because I know about most of these products. So Epinetium, that is actually one that I don't know very much about. Maybe I'll put something on screen about it. Um, maca extract. Now maca is an adaptogen. I don't really know if it's supposed to increase testosterone, but I've heard all sorts of things about it improving libido. I've always liked maca. I like it in this mix. Oyster peptide. Now I have never tried actual oysters or oyster peptide, but I remember this James Bond. I think it was You Only Live Twice where he's staying with this girl and the girl offers him some oysters and he's like, hey, are we going to get it on later? And she's like, oh no. And he's like, oh, well, I guess I don't need these oysters then. So it's like oysters. We're on a honeymoon. No honeymoon. This is business. Well, I won't need these. They've known for a long time that oysters are kind of like an aphrodisiac or they just improve libido and possibly testosterone as well. Okay, wolfberry extract. I have not looked that up. Don't know what it is. I'll try to put it on screen. All right, then you got this weird name. It's like polygatius polysaccharides. I did look that up at one point. I think that's just a really high quality of sugar. Gruana extract and ginseng extract. Now, those usually contain caffeine, and I'm gonna be getting into more of the effects in a little bit, but there is definitely some noticeable stimulation from this mix, and I really wish they put kind of like a warning because it almost felt like there was, you know, 50 to 60 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. So if you're somebody who's taking this at night, you have no idea. You know, if you're somebody who likes caffeine, you're going to get to your normal caffeine level, right? And then you're like, oh, well, let me just take my testes because like I want my libido to be up. So you're full of caffeine and you take this, you're gonna be so ridiculously overstimmed. It happened to me twice when I was full of caffeine and I was just like, almost having an anxiety attack. At that point, I already knew that I was kind of at my max with caffeine. If there was any product that contained any caffeine, I would not have taken it. So it was just kind of learning about this product. I really wish they put it on the side because there was another time that I took a full three scoops really late at night as well. And I don't know for sure if it has caffeine, but when I looked up guarana and ginseng, at least one of them contains actual caffeine and the other one is supposed to be a stimulant and they have really high doses in here of 800 milligrams guarana and 500 milligrams ginseng. Then you've got 90 milligrams vitamin C at like 60% of the daily value. That's always nice. Vitamin C, it helps with absorption. Vitamin E. So this is interesting because I just did a review on Organa. And what I said was weird about Organa is that, I mean, I don't think there was any supplement in that mix that had over 150 percent of the daily value most of them were around 100 if not below 100 so it's interesting that they'll put 2666 percent of vitamin e in here i'm curious why they put so much in this mix but then you buy a multivitamin and it's very bare bones zinc now zinc uh, i remember one of my friends when i was like 18 19 he was like 25 and I remember him saying like, oh, don't you know that zinc helps your sex life? At one point he was dating an older girl and the girl told him, hey, make sure to take your zinc because like, you know, I want you to be firing on all cylinders. So I always remember that um, zinc is a notorious testosterone support. Usually use it with magnesium and with a couple other things, but uh, I think 
there's something with vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium, if I'm not mistaken. I think they all work interchangeably. Selenium, now you got quite a bit of selenium. I do not know exactly what it does. I assume it's supposed to help with testosterone. Um, you got 700% of it in here. Sunflower lecithin. Now, what's interesting is somebody, in the last month or two, I was watching a YouTube video and I remember somebody saying that lecithin actually turns into straight up semen in the body and that's like what it's made of. I'm not too sure, but it would make sense because you put three full grams in here, 3000 milligrams of sunflower lecithin. So if it does turn into semen, then it's like gonna help you a lot because that is quite a bit. And they always use soy lecithin, which I just, I don't know if you've done any research on soy, but it has so many hormone disrupting properties. It's so bad for males. And so you fused lecithin, which is supposed to turn into semen with soy. I don't know, that just seems like not good for you, but soy lecithin is in everything. They do not use the sunflower version. So, okay, arginine. Now, arginine is just for blood flow, from my understanding. And, you know, you got a really reasonable dose here at 1,500 milligrams. I don't know why they didn't use citrulline, but it is what it is. That should give you a little bit of pump. Lysine, I thought lysine was kind of for your eyes, but maybe it's for testosterone as well. And then you got this pygium bark. I don't know what that is. I feel like that's actually pretty potent though. So if it does do something good, I will make sure to put it on screen. Tongkat Ali extract. Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Now you got that at 400 milligrams. I don't really know the straight up dose for Tonkat Ali, but I follow so many people that are really, really big in the natural space. And one of their go-to kind of like miracle supplements is this Tonkat Ali. It's supposed to neutralize, I think a lot of free radicals, and it's also supposed to boost testosterone in men. So you got that 400 milligrams here. I think that's a pretty big dose. That's almost like one full capsule's worth. And then the last thing you got here is this Fidogia Agrestis at 1000 milligrams, AKA one gram. And I think there was somebody who went on Joe Rogan or the Joe Rogan experience and was explaining how Fidogia Agrestis, it really either boosts testosterone or it mimics testosterone in the body. Fidogia Agrestis will actually make the testes grow. It's a, really? it's, a, it's a noticeable difference. So everybody wants that. I was always really interested to try it out and now that I can say that I have. So I was starting off the gate with taking three full scoops. Now that's actually what you're supposed to take. It says up here, each serving is 21 grams and it doesn't tell you how many scoops to take. So I do gotta say this company does need to tighten up their labels a little bit. Every product is supposed to show like the inactive ingredients like you show these and then you show like the extra stuff it has in it. There's been products that don't have that at all. Like even this one, this one does not say anything extra that it puts in there. And every single product has a few extras that they put in there, you know? And there's something in here that's just like a stimulant and also like really increases blood pressure. I was noticing that every time. I have not actually taken my blood pressure, but every time I would notice this stimmy feel, this blood pressure increase 100%, which could equal some sort of extra testosterone support because usually more blood flow gives you more testosterone and higher testosterone is probably going to increase your blood pressure a little bit. I'm not too sure. It might lower it in certain situations because testosterone can be like a superfood or a super supplement for guys when they get older. When I was taking two to three scoops every day, I just love the extra benefits that I had. It was almost like taking like a low dose of turkesterone or a low dose of some sort of hormone support. Uh, my muscles felt big. I felt great. I looked great. My strength was great. I cut off the other pro hormones and the turkesterones and all those to jump into this product. And it probably took me four to five days of three scoops to get almost 100% back to normal where <laughs> my testes were a big size. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but usually when your testosterone is lower, your testes are smaller. When you're in normal testosterone or high testosterone, your testes are bigger. So I noticed that my testes felt really big and really good, well, you know, off four to five days of this stuff. It almost felt like I could just quit taking it. I kind of got myself back to a baseline 
But if you're somebody who wants those constant effects, you could keep taking it from there. And I kind of like this and I kind of don't because it's hard to take three scoops. You know, it's really stimulating. Like I would almost recommend that everybody start off with like a scoop and a half. I also recommend taking this before your caffeine and waiting about 30 minutes or so before you have any more because it feels like there is caffeine in here or some other stimulant. So you don't want to take your full dose of caffeine have a, like a big full three scoops of this and drink it, you're gonna be feeling pretty crazy, at least I would be. But I do gotta say, I really enjoyed the effects of this stuff. I felt like it really brings your testosterone back to normal or above very quick. I liked the strength on this. It almost seemed like I was maintaining a big size or even getting a little bit bigger, which is a little bit weird since this is like a natural testosterone support mix. So I would think like, you know, I'd have to take maybe two weeks or so before I get that kind of effect, but my muscles looked big, my strength was good, everything was great about this stuff. Maybe you would save a little bit of money only taking one scoop or a scoop and a half, two scoops, and if you're somebody who's, you know, you're getting older, you kind of need something for a little bit of a daily testosterone support, this is a great product because like I wouldn't recommend taking those full three scoops unless you're coming off some sort of steroid or something like that. But I would think like a good one scoop, scoop and a half, maybe up to two scoops is a great maintenance dose. I really, really like this product. You just have to be very careful with the extra stimminess in there but I was actually blown away. I really like it. It does what it says. It has a crazy insane value to it because it just takes so long to kill it. And even if you were gonna take one scoop a day, I think that's like over 60 servings, I'm pretty sure. And I really think this is gonna help almost anybody. Even on one scoop, I think this is going to help your testosterone quite a bit. Two scoops is great. I would be careful going to three scoops because I came out the gate going on three because I didn't think it had stems and I was just trying to get my natural testosterone back, but it may have been too much. So last thing I forgot to mention was the taste. Now it has this mango kind of flavor to it. And I gotta be honest, mango and peach usually are not my favorite flavors. Mango kind of reminds me of peach and I've said this story on my channel before but when I was like young I was like eight nine ten I was at the park I ate a bunch of food my mom has this peach lotion and I just can't stand peach and I smelled it I said oh I can't stand it and I literally threw up so um, peach and mango aren't my favorite this flavor it's weird because it tastes a little like off and like almost a little queasy tasting but then sometimes it actually tastes pretty good all things considered it's got a nice little mango flavor in the background but you do taste a lot of those other supplements in there it's going to be much milder if you only take one scoop it is a little bit weird but again i've said this before i would rather it taste a little weird or taste a little light then it tastes really, really good and then hurt my stomach and do some extra negative effects. So anyways, guys, I really like this product. I might do another review once I kill a whole tub. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.